Looks like this workbench was used for making frames. A human face. Hold up, I'll unlock the door. I don't know who you are, but boy, am I glad to see a human face. What you doing here? I'm, uh, looking for someone. An old woman with a mirror. Have you seen her? Huh? Oh, I mean, yeah, there's old Bethany. She comes here pretty often. Brings us food, blankets. You know each other? Not yet. I'd like to meet her, though. You know where she is? Uh, yeah. It ain't good news. Bethany was in the storeroom when the wild beasts came. She locked herself in. I got a spare key, but, uh... But there's a catch. Am I right? Yeah. We wounded one of them. But he's too tough. He's right outside the storeroom. She can't get out. We gotta get in there. We'll starve without those supplies. I don't think we can take him, though. I hope Bethany's all right. Okay, I'll deal with it. See you soon.
They hide. They hide underwater. In the pools. In the puddles. Can't be too careful. Uh, this used to be an okay place to live. Nice work. It looks like the craftsman's gone out of business, though. Too bad. Yeah. Do all mirror makers look this shifty? Who knew that so much planning went into mirrors? Some sort of treatment solution. It must be what they use to turn glass panes into mirrors. It looks like this workbench was used for making frames. Much.
Looks like this workbench was used for making frames. I killed the monster. Oh yeah, I heard the ruckus from up here. Great job, mister. Here's the key. Take anything you need, and uh, please make sure Bethany is all right. Oh, I will. You can count on it. Someone's been stocking up. house? Randall's house? Hold on, Hammond. We're almost there. Hmm. Someone's been stocking up. It's a thick book. Thick enough to be someone's life's work.
there, newcomer. Get the drug out of here. Extra, extra. All the news that's fit to print.
Somebody's been doing their homework. His manner into a museum of vintage mirrors collected over many decades. And the biggest mirror exhibition in the history of Oakmont, including Master Randall's finest creations. These have been here a while. Where does one find a miniature coffin like this? Where does one find a miniature coffin like this?
cruel. Would have made a better father proud.
there. As long as this mirror stays whole, you will be safe, baby boy. Safe while I find a way to free you. These rights, they might buy me time. We'll get you out, Hammond. There has to be a way. Time to piece this one together. There. As long as this mirror stays whole, you will be safe, baby boy. Safe while I find a way to free you. I will get you out, Hammond. There has to be a way. These rights, they might buy me time. These rights, they might buy me time. These rights, they might buy me time. But 
there. As long as this mirror stays whole, you will be safe, baby boy. Safe while I find a way to free you. I will get you out, Hammond. There has to be a way. As long as this mirror stays whole, you will be safe, baby boy. Safe while I find a way to free you. These rights, they might buy me time. will get you out, Hammond. There has to be a way. I will get you out, Hammond. There has to be a way. There. As long as this mirror stays whole, you will be safe, baby boy. Safe while I find a way to free you. These rights, they might buy me time. These rights, they might buy me time. These rights, they might buy me time. I will get you out, Hammond. There has to be a way. There. As long as this mirror stays whole, you will be safe, baby boy. Safe while I find a way to free you.
these rights, they might buy me time. These rights, they might buy me time. As long as this mirror stays whole, you will be safe, baby boy. Safe while I find a way to free you. There. As long as this mirror stays whole, you will be safe, baby boy. Safe while I find a way to free you. These rights, they might buy me time. We'll get you out, Hammond. There has to be a way. Bathroom. There. As long as this mirror stays whole, you will be safe, baby boy. Safe while I find a way to free you. Life can be cruel.
No, no, you can't have him. I won't let you. You can't take the mirror, you hear me? Bethany, calm down, please. I mean you no harm. No, you, you won't take my child. Not again. I won't let you. I'm sorry, but Robert's paying me to find that mirror. I can't go back without it. No! Please, I'm so close. I found a way. I can pull him out, I'm sure of it. It's crazy, Bethany. Even if it worked, it wouldn't be right. I'm taking the mirror to Robert. No, you can't. I won't let you. Your father led an expedition back in 1891. Do you know anything about it? I'm not the best person to ask, I'm afraid. I was a babe in arms back then, and my father... 
never made his findings public. It is a great shame, of course. His work would have turned the science of evolution on its head. Yeah, I can see that. I had some questions about Bethany. I beg your pardon? I don't believe I know anyone of that name. Well, it came up during the investigation. See, your father divorced, and his ex-wife's name was Bethany. Say no more. It is beyond my earliest memories, but even if it weren't, my father's business is his own. I shall not engage in gossip. I found a disturbing book, Mr. Throgmorton, on mirrors. It spoke of imprisoned souls, now level with me. What is it you're after? I suppose there's no point in being coy. I have learned that I once had a brother, Hammond. My father robbed me of him. Hammond is inside the mirror, trapped by sorcery. My father's doing. Why, I cannot guess. But he is a Throgmorton. He must be saved. Have a good... I tracked down the- Excellent. Hand it over, please. You have rendered my family and its noble bloodline a great service, Mr. Reed. Here, your reward. Earned in full, I might add. So, now you have the mirror. What's your plan? To find Hammond a body fit for a true-born Throgmorton. Pongor Belly seems an appropriate choice.
no, no, you can't have him. I won't let you. You can't take the mirror, you hear me? Bethany, calm down, please. I mean you no harm. No, you, you won't take my child. Not again. I won't let you. It's okay. We can talk about this. I know the mirror is important to you. It's my son. My, my son. His soul, his very being trapped in the mirror. Cold, hungry, scared for decades. It's... Uh, Kay, it's so hard to understand. His body is dead, but his soul is frozen in glass, unable to move on or return without help. Oh, Francis thought this was merciful. Oh, the wretch. What do you mean to do then? I can call Hammond back into his own body. Don't judge me. This, this may seem unnatural, but, but, but we will be together. Everything is ready. I'm sure it will work. I only need to break the mirror to release him. I can't go back empty-handed. And I won't leave without my son. Okay. Well. I guess you've got the right to try. Go ahead. I'll have to find some way to sweet talk Robert. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. You made the right choice. Life can be cruel.
I had I am Wow Saint Your I'm it is Yeah. I That's ham I was too late. The mirror. I found it broken. What? No. How? How could this happen? Oh, my brother, my poor brother. I expected better from you, Mr. Reed. By gay, I did. No, oh, Drock, just go. Leave me to my ghosts. I highly advise you to put down your gun, Mr. Reed. <laughs> 